Well, I got to shake the Hulk hands there. I know you had a conversation with Patrick about that. But let's talk about the incredible Hulk in the lineup, Clay Young. Second time this weekend, a big home run to put you ahead. And second time in two weeks, you've come up with a late game grand slam. Can't say enough about the response, a word you've used a lot from your team this year. Absolutely. And, and get to Clay in a second. But I tell you, Jay, they, uh, these do, these men never flinch. They, they never flinch. And that's what's really cool about it, man. Uh, we continue to, to fight and come back from, from deficits, right? And we continue to grind our way through adversity and things like that. Uh, and you're exactly right, man. Just the way in which we continue to learn and grow and develop. Um, and, and then also speaking or, or getting back to Clay, right? Like the, we talk about the veteran leadership and the way that at bat unfolds, right? A, a big blow against Grambling, right? And then tonight in, in, a, in a moment where, you know, before Clay's swing, man, we, we had a chance in the third, we had a chance in the fourth, we had a chance in the fifth, right? So like our offense, we were leaving some guys on base or whatever. And so like that veteran leadership and that ability to grow grind his way through an at bat and not only hit a homer, right, our grand slam, but a, a, a swing that gives our dugout momentum, a swing that gives our dugout material to learn from, right? Like, I mean, you just can't say enough. Uh, again, they never flinch and they continue to learn and grow and they continue to feed off of each other. And it's really special, man. Bottom of the six was big offensively. Top of the six, huge play defensively. Hayden Knotts on a hard hit chopper. Not only makes the play, Strand jo Smith Johnson at third, and then Chase Presswich comes and gets this, this third out of that inning. But that play in a drawn in infield, going back away from his left shoulder to make that play, incredible play by him, really, again, kind of sparked the bottom of the sixth. No doubt. Ne never flinch, right? Picking each other up, overcoming adversity, right? Chase overcoming the start that, that he had, right? Or that, that four-run inning, right? And again, our whole ball club knows that that's not the sexiest way that some of those innings unfold and some of the things that are going on. But I think a testament not only to the play that Knotts makes, and that's a huge play, right? That that gets momentum back on our side of, of the ballpark. But also the way in which Chase and Bunch and Dan responded all night long. Right, like there's that never flinch attitude, and the fact that that wasn't the sexiest nine innings of pitching or pitch execution or whatever, but it was the most grind that we could find, right? And so, and and Bo's back there doing doing what he's doing under the circumstances. What like, man, that that's what this ball club is about, and it's the way in which we continue to play baseball that makes you the proudest guy in the world, man. We'll clean up the mistakes, like we'll clean up the things we need to clean up, and we'll go right back to work tomorrow morning. But you're looking at the proudest guy in the world because we, we coach a dugout full of men that never flinch and they charge with their fists, dude. And you'll go out for a series win with a guy who doesn't flinch at anything in Dawson Flowers, a guy that has done it all for you as a pitching staff and has really kind of evolved into that starter role. And no doubt. And, and, and with, with Dawson and then plenty of bullets to go and then hopefully another tremendous offensive performance tomorrow from a grinding and from a, a mental standpoint, right? Because we, 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 I think, you know, like you hear from our dugout a lot, like, like those guys, they smell it, right? They smell it. And, and uh, I've said all along, like we're never going anywhere in our belief in this baseball team. And now we're starting to get 50 people to believe it instead of just Bert. And it's really cool, man. Well, go tell your team how proud you are. Congratulations, all coach. Right, thank you, man.